Hey guys, this is Lindsay from Pig Parts Planner Co. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our brand new system, the Life Vault. This is a documentation system that you can use for your whole entire life. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So whenever you open the Life Vault, you are going to come to this page first. This is what we consider our cover, um, but everything on this page is also hyperlinked to take you to each different section of the Life Vault. So um, we're going to come back to this, but I just want to show you what's on the pages after it, but all of these file folders here are hyperlinked. But whenever you scroll, you're going to get our hello message from, um, from me, and you can see here all of our hyperlinks below to our TikTok, our Facebook, Instagram, so you can follow along and be social with us. Um, and then this has our quick links and helpful tips. This takes you to our tutorials, where you can contact me, our shop, um, our Planner Club or Sticker Club. It gives you a coupon, lots of different things that you can use here on this page. And then we're going to dive into the first section. Um, but let me go back to the cover. Um, anywhere in the planner, you can always go back to the cover by clicking right up here in this corner. And that's going to take you to back to the cover. So you can see here within the Life Vault, we have a ton of different um, file folders, and we're going to call them sections, that you can use to store all of your important information, all of your documents. Um, basically, the Life Vault is kind of a digital version of your filing cabinet, or maybe the stack of papers that you intend to file, but you just haven't gotten around to it. And um, this is the digital version of that that you can use for your whole entire life. Um, this is not just like a one year thing, you can use it over and over again, every single year. As long as you are digital planning or keeping track of things digitally, you will be able to use this Life Vault. So let's jump right in. So let's dive into the family here. I'm going to click on that. And that is going to take us to our family index. Now, this life vault is really kind of a one size fits all. So there are going to be a lot of pages that you do not use. Um, I do not recommend deleting any page in this planner except for the specific ones I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Um, but I don't recommend deleting any other pages just because you don't know what's going to happen in life. You never know when you're going to get a new family member or a new pet or um, something that you may want to keep track of. And every single page in this planner is hyperlinked. So if you delete any page except for the specific one that I'm going to tell you about in just a moment, um, if you delete any page, you cannot get that hyperlink back currently. Um, hopefully in the future there are some um, customizations within our planning apps that we can use where we can create hyperlink hyperlinks, but as I'm filming this video that is something you can only do in Zoom notes. Um, okay, so let's dive right into family. So right up here at the top you have family and you have 12 different um, boxes here for family members. Um, so you can have up to a 12 person family listed here. Um, most of the time this is probably just going to be your immediate family that you want to list here. However, you can um, expand that to parents, aunts, uncles. You can put whoever you want here. Um, but I created it specifically for immediate family. Um, and you'll see when we dive into this how that works. Um, if you happen to buy this and you have like 12 kids and there's not enough room here for you, for your family, um, definitely reach out to me and I can make this customized for you. Um, but 12 people for most everyone should be enough. So let's say here that you have your family and you want the first person to be you. So I'm just going to click on my toolbar and I'm going to go and I'm just going to write here. It's not going to be as pretty, but we just want to do this fast. Usually I would use a text box. So let's just say that you want this to be you <laughs> and you are going to put your name here. And then if you tap on this, it is going to take you to an overview of the family members. There are three pages here. On the first, you have family member one through four, then five through eight and nine through twelve. So on number one, that's going to be you because you put yourself in number one. So number one is you and you can put, this is like an overview, a general place for you to put just some quick information about yourself or your children, your spouse, whoever you're going to put in here. There's a place for a photo, name, date of birth, social height, and weight. Now this is where um, it gets a little bit more customizable. So up here in each little section of each family member, you see there's adult and a child. So let's say that you are the adult and you are wanting to make number one all about you. 
to put some more details about yourself in here you're just going to click right here on the adult and that is going to take you to adult information which is where you can put a ton more information about you um, your physician information your education your employer your driver's license a photo of yourself everything that you may need about yourself you can put right here on this adult information page this is a great place for just like say your husband needs to know your physician name or um, if something happens to you and somebody needs some information on you that they wouldn't normally just know this is a great place that you can put all that and find it easily now let's go back to that family page let's say that you have a child that you want to um, put their information here from any page of the planner you can go back to the cover by clicking right up here on the left in that like white void in the top corner or all of these files here are hyperlinked. So if we want to go back to family, we're going to click right here on the family icon and it's going to take us back to that family index. So now let's say we want to put our child in here. So I'm just going to write on number two, I'm going to put child, turn that off and then I'm going to click on child. So this took me back to the first one because we're still within one through four. So I would have put my information up here and now I'm going to put my child's information here. Now, since they are a child, I'm going to click on the little kid icon instead of the adult one. And that is going to take me to the child information, which is a little bit different from the adult. It has a place for their school, their photos, some notes. And um, let's say if they are older and you, you have or they have a driver's license, you can definitely paste that in here. You can change this, customize it to meet what your needs. But there is a dish, a, a different section for childs and adults or children and adults so this is the only section of the planner that I ever recommend that you delete pages let me show you what I mean by that so I'm gonna go back here to family and I'm going to click up here on the thumbnail so you can see all the pages here and it might be a little bit hard to see but after this family member like quick guide here each section has an adult so let's let's go back here so this is the page that number one let me go back and show you exactly what I mean so if I'm gonna click on you you're the adult then I'm gonna go on number one this is where your information would have been and I'm gonna click on adult so this is taking us back to where we put in all the information about ourselves. if you're using this planner if you swipe next, there's a child information page. If you are making number one about an adult, you don't need this child information page. So this is one page that you can delete. So the only time you ever want to delete any pages is that once you determine who your family members are and what number that those family members correlate to um, and whether they are an adult or a child, you can then delete that page. So each section has an adult and a child. You can delete the one or the other depending on if they're an adult or a child that you're keeping track of. So that is all about the family members and how to um, put all the information in and how to use these little links up here. Now let's go back to family and talk about your pets. Pets work the exact same way. So let's say um, we want to put a pet in here. Let's say our pet's name is Teddy. And... We want to go to him we're just going to click on that and it has all the information that we can put for our pet um, the breed if they're registered their vet's office their food all the other information that you might need here we can also go back here and we have a place for our pet vaccinations medications and you can specify which pet if you have more than one you can write their name up here um, for their grooming log their pet appointments and their license if your county requires you to pay a license each year for those animals so that is everything in the pet section. Now let's go to medical. Now, um, everything in the life vault, you can move around um, a specific way. You don't want to just move pages. You want to copy and paste them. And let me show you what I mean by that. So within the medical section here, there are a bunch of different templates. So you have a child and you want to put in their medical info here. And you want to... You don't want this to be in the medical section. You want this to be with your child um, on that family section. So what you can do is you can go up here. Um, I'm using GoodNotes, so I'm gonna show you how to use this in GoodNotes, but all of the apps are pretty similar on how you're gonna do this. So I'm gonna copy this page. 
I'm going to go back to my family and go to my child. I'm going to click right here on the child. And if I, let's say I want that medical information about my child after this child information, I'm going to click right up here on this add page icon and I'm going to hit paste page. And then you can see right after, now I have that uh, medical info for my child. So there's lots of different uh, medical information that you can use. You can put everything here and just put their name or you can move it back and put it after your family member, um, whichever you really prefer. Um, but we have your medical inf info, history, medication log, appointments, different kinds of appointments here, a visit recap, your shot records, blood pressure, blood sugar, symptoms, and medical insurance information, and plus medical contacts. So there's lots of different things here that you can use. Now, these blank pages are for medical records. Say that you got your child's shot records from the doctor's office and you don't want to write them all in. You just want to scan that page in and um, you just want to scan that page in and put a picture of it here on a medical record. You can absolutely do that. You can scan it in or you can take a picture with your phone and then you can drop it right here over this medical records page. Now, you might notice that down here in this corner, there is an A, some letters and numbers. There's an MR1, which correlates to medical records one. Let's go back here to the medical index, and you can see here there are 20 different sections for medical records. And this is where you can put any medical records that you feel like you need to keep track of for a long time. You can put them right here. So, <coughs> excuse me. You can put shot records, surgery details, anything that you might need for your records you can put in here and this correlates to a specific page so if I click right here on number one that's going to take me back to MR1 as same as um, if I go back and if I want to go to four that's going to take me to MR4 now let's say if you have um, two pages of medical records that you want to be <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry that you want linked to MR4 so let me say, let's say the MR4 is our shot records Whoops. for our child Johnny. So we want to go to four and say that our shot records are a couple pages long, two or three pages, and you put an image of the shot records here. What you don't want to do is put the next page of your shot records on MR5 because that's going to be a link to number 5. What you want to do is is duplicate MR4. So you're going to appear the three dots, copy this page, and then you want to paste the page. <laughs> or you can just duplicate the current template. So now I have a couple MR4s down here where I can put his shot records and they will all be linked directly to MR4. So let's say, I'm just going to write here, shot records. Let's say I put those there. Now when I go back to that index, when I click on number four, there's shot records. But when I click on number five, that is still blank for whatever I want to put in number five. So just be mindful of that when you're adding more than one document per a uh, hyperlinked section. Okay, so now let's go to our home. This is where our household info and maintenance is. There's a lot of different pages here that you can use um, if you want to keep track of your cleaning, your quick pickup, your monthly checklist. Um, say you need to change your air filter every few months, you can do that right here. Create a checklist for it. And there's also some master checklist, lots of different cleaning checklists that you can do here. You also have a when did I last here. Let's say that you, let's back to that air filter. You can write here when the last time it was that you did it, that you changed it and mark it here and like keep track of those things. It doesn't just have to be home things. It could be anything that you need to track. Now let's jump to finances. Here we have a few different sections within the finance section. You have your monthly budgets. And click on here and after those pages you have those expenses for that month you also have different kind of trackers so you have your bills your daily spending credit cards inquiries your savings lots of different things here plus expense categories if you want to break that down 
by a certain um, expenses and how you're spending your money. Okay, next let's jump into our estate planning. So, this is the estate section. There are a, there are sections, a section for four different estates. This is because you're more than likely going to want to track your own estate plus your spouse's or your partner. Plus, you might need to um, track your parents' estate. So, there are lots of different pages within here, and there are four. So, right here you can see one, two, and then on the next page there's three, four. So, let's say you want to track the estate of your parents. Right up here you can write the, their, the name of the estate, so your parents. And then let's jump right in here to the estate organizer. This is like an overview. I'm um, the executor, their address, all their information, the location of the will, um, where your obituary might be, a draft of it, newspapers you need to notify, and other organizations, a checklist of who you need to notify, information on the, the funeral home and the cemetery, and just a place for some notes. Now there's also a place for your death certificate. You can take a picture of that or scan it and place it here. Plus a place for the copy of the will, a copy of your trust, funeral expenses, and a place for notes. And this repeats four times, so you have a place for four different estates that you want to keep track of. Now let's jump to inventory. This is inventory by room. So let's say you uh, want to track the inventory of your home. Here you can do that. I recommend doing it by room. Um, in case something ever happens, you have a loss, a fire loss or something, or flood loss. It's really just easy to think in your mind, like put yourself in a room and think of what was in that room. It's a lot easier to track than just a ginormous list of everything that's in your home. So if you can write your specific rooms here, say bedroom, living room, bathroom, etc. And then you just click on it and it will take you to an inventory list where you can break down everything that's in your home. And these lines are big enough here that you can write here on multiple lines. Um, if you have more information, like say you have a serial number or um, something that you need to put here. Let's say you have, let's just do one here. Let's say you have your engagement ring. And it's serial number. So there's plenty of room to write more than one line within each section. And you can have different rooms here to keep track of your inventory. Now I will mention there is only one page. So you can see down here in the corner we have another number. This number one correlates to room number one. The next page has a number two. So don't just, um, once you fill out this list, don't just swipe and move on to the next page. You are going to want to duplicate it so that your hyperlinks stay with the specific room that you are on and you don't put, <coughs> excuse me, things in the wrong room. So to duplicate, just go up here to page and current template and that will duplicate that page. Okay, so now let's jump to our next section, section which is insurance. Here, um, you have a place for 12 different insurance policies. <coughs> you just click right on them, and that will take you to a quick glance of each one. So you have over here, one, two, one, two three, and 4. There are um, different pages of that, so you can see um, you have a place for 12 different insurance policies. Here you can put the policy type, company, policy number, expiration date, and the premium. And then if you click right over here on this document with a magnifying glass, that is going to take you to this page where you can put your declaration page for that policy. And you can see right up here it has a 1, which correlates to insurance policy number 1. So this is a place for your policy. I actually did an example here for you. So let's say that, let's go back to insurance, and I'm going to put number 1 is a home insurance policy. I'm going to click on number one, and then I'm going to put it right up here, policy type, this is my home. And, whoops, where'd we go? Nope, right there. And I want to drop my deck page in here. So what I did, I went and got a copy of my deck page and 
took everything off of it that was important that shouldn't be shared and then I'm just gonna drag and drop it right here so now I have my decoration page for that policy here this decoration page is more than one page so I definitely want to duplicate my current template see that one is still there and then I can drop my second page here okay so that is insurance now let's move on to properties now not everybody has more than one properties you may not even own any properties um, so here you could put a property that you rent or properties that you own maybe you have rentals maybe you own land um, this is really universal on what you could put here so um, let's just say you have a property number one you could put the address here or maybe what you call the property you tap on that it is going to take you to another quick view of your different properties you can put a photo here the type of property address some information about it and then if you click right up here on the house it's going to take you to that specific property details and you can see down here again there is a number one which correlates to property number one so here you can put a photo all the information on the house improvements and notes and then on the next page is the property taxes if you are paying property taxes on that location <clears throat> so that is everything on under properties and how you use them now let's jump to vehicles which is an inc all inclusive of vehicles motorcycles um, campers RVs boats four-wheelers ATVs UTVs <clears throat> lots of different kind of vehicles you can put here all lumped in together under one there are place for eight cars, four motorcycles, four campers, and four boats. I am sure that this is more than you probably need at one time. So um, if you happen to need more than this, let's say you have more vehicles than eight or more motorcycles than eight or more than more than four motorcycles, please let me know and I can customize this for you. Um, but let's say that you have a um, whoops. Chevy Traverse and you have a Honda mm -mm, I don't know 600 and you have a Salem camper and you have a pontoon so you can put all that information right there on your index and then you just click right on that number. It's gonna take you again to a, I spelled that wrong. It's gonna take you again to a um, index of, or a quick link page of each vehicle that you may own where you can put the photo and the information. And then you click right over here on the car and that is going to take you to your maintenance log where you can put some more detailed information about that vehicle and the last time you did any kind of maintenance that that vehicle may have needed same for motorcycles just click right up here on the helmet that's going to take you to your motorcycle maintenance which is a little bit different um, than vehicles campers work the same we have some RV maintenance and boats so that is a got overview of the vehicle section. Now let's move on to documents. Documents and receipts work the same exact way. So you can put literally anything you want here. Um, say you have adoption records, divorce papers, a deed to your property, um, literally anything you want. You can put in this documents. So you just put right here um, within the number what that document is. And then when you click on it, it's gonna take you to a blank page that has a number at the bottom that correlates to that box. And then you can just drop the document in here, a photo, or you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can put a photo here, or you can put the actual PDF afterwards. It will just put it next to the page, not specifically on this page. And your receipt section works the exact same way. Within documents and receipts, there are 80 different tabs here, or 80 different pages that with hyperlinks that you can use. Now let's go to your address book. Here it has your important numbers plus A through Z on your addresses. So you can put whoever you want to 
keep track of their address here, but be mindful that there is only one page of each, so you will need to duplicate the page as you need more. Now emergencies, there's not a ton here, but you have your contacts, your emergency information for each person in your family in your emergency plan. It comes with fire, tornado, and hurricane, but there is a second page where you can add in whatever you may need for the specific location that you are in. Now let's jump to recipes. Recipes are a lot like the documents and the receipts section. You just click right up here on whatever kind of uh, recipe you have. Say you have a entree and you want to put spaghetti, you just click right here and that will take you to spaghetti. Or that will take you to the page to put spaghetti on and you will see down here this is entree number one or E-1. Um, so you can put that spaghetti recipe here. You can either um, write it out or you can put a screenshot of the recipe right over top of this page. So that's how you use your our recipe book. We also have travel where you can plan out all your vacations. There are calendars. Um, there are different kinds of dates that you might want to keep track of. Plus there are regular calendars plus a perpetual calendar. You have your projects here. There's a place for eight different projects. You can see down here there is a number one that correlates to project number one. So you have your outline here, the supplies that you need, your steps, and your vision board. Next, let's jump to notes and lists. Here we have all of our notes, our lists, and your passwords. So you can put all that here. There are quite a different, quite a few different um, note page layouts for you to choose from. And then lastly is custom sections. There are eight places for you to make a custom section, whatever you want to be. You can use our expansion packs for this um, or just make it really whatever you want. So let's click on number one, which takes us to section number one. And here there are um, 20 different pages that you could hyperlink to. So um, I don't know, let's say that you want to make this your business section and on number one, you want to make that your business plan. If you just click on that, it'll take you to page one dash one and you can get that right down here and put your page there. So that is everything about the Life Vault. I know this was a really long tutorial, but I thank you guys so much for hanging in here with me and going all through the Life Vault and how to use it. If you guys have any questions or need any customizations, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you guys so much.